So how will this heat uh, impact our snowpack? King 5's Erica Zuko went looking for some answers. She joins us live. And Erica, I think I know the answer to this because I looked out at the Olympics yesterday. Um, yeah. Will this melt a lot more snow into our rivers and creeks? Yeah, I mean, it's going to melt the snow that's there, but it's not going to have a huge impact because so much of the snowpack is already melted. Drought conditions continue in much of the state, and really the focus right now is going to be on preventing fire risks as well as making sure people stay safe and cool. A fitting day. Good catch, bud. For a dog named River. <laughs> Eric and Tammy White are headed to the Snoqualmie so he can take a much needed dip. It's really been warm, hot. <laughs> been really hot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just been swimming, taking the pup out. Um, doing things early in the doing morning. Doing things early in the morning. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, go cool off in the midday and then, and then kind of hunker down at home and close all the blinds. But many of the rivers and creeks where pups are seeking refuge are getting lower as the weeks and months pass, with little snowpack left to give them a boost. This winter brought low snowfall, and the Office of the State Climatologist says the smaller amount melted faster. Most of the snowpack is melted out at this point, so we're in early July. A lot of that has melted um, through June even earlier than expected, so one to two weeks earlier than normal because it was below normal snowpack. This map shows the water available inside snow at locations across the state in a June report. You can see mostly white dots. Those are places where there's none left. This is pretty typical, really paradise that Rainier, that's like one of the last or one of the sites that has snow for the longest. Even though it looks like there's still plenty of supply in many waterways, the Department of Ecology redeclared a drought emergency in April for the state, excluding Seattle, Tacoma and Everett, making resources available to help. Agencies will track conditions as the summer progresses. For now, the focus is on keeping people cool and safe during these unusual temperatures. We're very Pacific Northwest EP. People. Yeah. We don't mind the overcast. We were born and raised here uh, and we love it. Uh, but yeah, that extra vitamin D, why not? Um, lots of people are kind of out and about and, and that's good to see. And the Office of the State Climatologist says that even though we're seeing high temperatures, there are still some bodies of water that may be dangerous cold, dangerously cold. And Greg, I know you're going to have some tips on how people can make sure that they're safe coming up in just a few minutes. For now, we're live in Esquire. Eric Zuko, King 5 News.